stage, direct from the Great White North, Dave Mercer. Malacca, Florida, let me hear ya! You never let us down. Unbelievable community and unbelievable Bassmaster fans uh, and uh, unbelievable way and we had here yesterday. Who was here? We saw some giants, but by the looks of things, we're going to see a few more giants here today, Trip. And, uh, the, you know, we came into this event with everybody talking about how different the St. John's River is. But one thing that didn't change is you're going to have to catch some giants if you want to win here. Well, as always, you take the Elite Series anglers, put that caliber of angler on a body of water like this. But I thought the story was really neat. We talked about it. I think it was in 1972, uh, Bob Tyndall caught the largest bass in the history of bass, and that held until the early 90s, and I'm looking at Johnny Beatty, my buddy, and JC, Johnny Beatty, my buddy, old buddy, was working that event for us. And uh, Texas and Mark Menendez broke that record. It stood from 72, caught right here, and then yesterday, well, he broke it with a 13-9, and he caught a 9-13 yesterday. But that 11-2 that John Cruz laid on these scales was phenomenal. It's been a long time since I've seen a double-digit bass of that caliber, probably Falcon Lake. Yeah, and obviously uh, the biggest fish that I've been on stage for, I believe, but obviously that 25-pound, two-ounce bag by Robin Atuso, our tournament leader, and we were joking, he had the best line ever. Robbie came up here, and in the pre-tournament meeting, like, Tournament anglers will try to get every advantage they can. So if you see them back there, they roll their bag up and they try to get every ounce of water they can get in and run up to the stage and soak me and trip. So trip in the meeting was like, don't try to do that because I'm the official. He's got to make sure it's official. He'll drain the water and everything. So we told him, don't, don't roll up your bags when you came in. So Robbie was raising 25 pounds, two ounces. And I said, I was speechless to be quite honest. And, and he, and I said, well, tell me about it. And he said, well, Tripp told us not to roll up the bag, so I just figured I'd fill it to the top. <laughs> and he sure did. We're going to see some big bags here today, but Palaka, Florida, are you guys ready? Yeah. You got to do better than that. Palaka, are you ready? Yeah. Well, let's start it off right with our very first angler from Paducah, Kentucky. Five-time classic qualifier, three-time Bassmaster winner, Mark Menendez. Mark Menendez had a giant day yesterday, 24 pounds, 8 ounces, backing it up here on day number two with five fish for 21 pounds, 6 ounces, 21 pounds, 6 ounces, and with 45 pounds, 14 ounces, Mark Menendez moves back into the lead at stop number one of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Forty-five pounds and fourteen ounces at the midway point of this tournament, and uh, your big bass today, six pounds four ounces. Uh, had the second biggest bass yesterday, that nine thirteen. This one's going pretty good for you, Mark. That six four was a wake up call, David. That was about my first five minutes of fishing. My line moved a little hint, and I set the hook, and I catch a six pounder. So I relaxed pretty quick after that, and got in a good little grind, and. Uh, had my fish way before I did yesterday. Yesterday I didn't have a bite till 11 and I had a limit at 9.30. Then I got in another little flurry late and I may have figured out another little piece to the puzzle and that's what's so cool about it. When you get two big Mimi fish like that, that's what carries you a long way. And then if you get a grouper, then you've got it even even more so. And that's what happened yesterday. But to get the two big bites today were, were the big was the big key. Well, so what's the weight difference between a Mimi and a grouper? Anything you can hold up in front of the here, and it's like this, but when they go this big around, it turns into a grouper. Okay. I just, just wanted to know technically. Let's hear it for your tournament leader, Mark Menendez. Let's keep him rolling from Alabama, his first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Scott Canterbury. Oh, boy, the hits keep coming. Trip working overtime this week. Had 10 pounds, 3 ounces yesterday. Much better day today. 25 pounds and 12 ounces. That is how you come back in a Bassmaster Elite Series event. What a difference a day makes. Just two anglers into our weigh-in and already the biggest bag weighed in in this tournament. 25 pounds and 12 ounces. 
Elite Series, say hello to Scott Canterbury. You're going to see him a lot this year. Wow, what a, what a comeback. I mean, it, we always talk about the, the giant rally that's possible, especially in the state of Florida, and uh, you definitely did it here today. Uh, did you change or did the fish change? No, I definitely changed. You know, I'm running that new FX21 Skeeter this year, and I think I enjoy driving it, pushing it with that Yamaha on the back so much that I forgot that I got to put my trolling motor down and fish this week. But, uh, you know, I made a lot of changes, and uh, it worked out good. You know, I said yesterday I wanted to see the crowd this weekend. It's pretty special right now. This is pretty awesome. Hopefully I'll hang in there and get to see it this weekend. Uh, I sort of had a slow day yesterday, but uh, maybe I figured something out. I caught a lot of fish, caught some pretty good ones, so... You know, we're going to see how it goes. I hope, hopefully I'll be fishing tomorrow. If not, it's all because of what I did yesterday. Made the wrong moves, but I made the right moves today. So, you know, so I'm excited about it. Just hopefully I'll get to go out there tomorrow. I'm going to go get my stuff ready. I'll be pretty shocked if you don't get out there. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. Every day is doomsday for our next angler from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. Had 21 pounds, 6 ounces yesterday. A little tougher day today. Five fish today for David Mullins, 11 pounds, 9 ounces. And if you watch Bassmaster Live, you're a bit of a gambling man, and you gambled on a big girl this afternoon that uh, I know you desperately wanted to put in the boat. Uh, but it, it, it's, uh, I mean, it's hard to hard to walk away from a big fish like that. Yeah, when, when you when you were looking at an 8 or 9 pounder, and you, and you know you can't go anywhere else and guarantee something like big and a I had it hooked. I lost it. Bill Owen come back and said he had it hooked first thing in the morning. He said it's at least nine, eight or nine pounds. So I actually had it bite twice. I caught the male finally. It's the biggest fish I had today. It was like a three-pounder. But, uh, you know, I think I got enough to make the cut. So what really surprised me is I thought more fish were going to come in that area, and it didn't happen. The, the, the Most of the fish was there yesterday, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments uh, if I'm in the cut, and hopefully we can catch some more. I need you out there tomorrow, and I'm sure you'll be a part of it. From Benton, Arkansas, get loud for Stetson Blaylock. Stetson Blaylock had 12-12 yesterday, five fish here today. 11 pounds, 3 ounces with 23.15. I mean, anything can happen. We'll watch the weigh-in, but you may be below the projected cut. I talked to five guys on the water, and all five had 20 pounds, so I, fig I figure where I'm going to be. But, uh, no, I was around them. Uh, they're, they're still there. A lot of those fish are trying to move up and spawn, and they're doing it throughout the day. And uh, for me, it was just timing. I mean, I watched big ones get caught all around me that I'd already fished for well, that weren't ready. So it's just when it's your time, it's your time, and some days you just can't do anything right. But got another one next week, and I'm ready to go. Nice crowd here. I love this place. I'm ready to come back. Look forward to seeing you at Lake Lanier. All right, Florida, get loud for one of your very own. Starting his Elite Series career this week. Get loud for Drew Cook. Ten pounds, 13 ounces, but he has rallied right back into things here today. Five fish here today. 10, 13 yesterday. 24 pounds, five ounces today. 24 pounds and 5 ounces today, giving them 35 pounds and 2 ounces. And Drew Cook moves into third place currently. Thirty five pounds, two ounces. And Drew, wow, what a comeback. Uh, what changed? Was it nerves, first day jitters, or, or did just the rotation get right today? What, what's the deal? No, I fished clean today. I got everybody in the boat, and that, that was what I really needed to do yesterday, but I didn't, and so I knew I had to rebound today, and I just got lucky. A couple good bites, and it was just stars lined up. Stars lined up in a big way, and we're very happy for it because it looks like you're going to make the cut, and we got a special presentation for you on stage tomorrow. You got any idea what that is? I hope it's a big old belt. If he was in a tournament, his partner was Mark Zona. It was the Bass uh, Bass Brawl, and it, you were against Davey Height, who's now hiding, I believe. Um, and his partner, of course, Drew Benton, and you won the belt. Zona says it is astonishingly beautiful. He has his. You'll get yours tomorrow. Beautiful. I can't wait to hang it on the wall. All right. <laughs> We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, here comes the other Drew from Panama City, Florida. Get loud for Drew Benton. 
Drew Benton took an Elite Series title in Texas last year. He's also a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year. 20 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday, 15-6 today. Moving to second place with 36 pounds even. And uh, that's Florida fishing, right? All, all lays on that one big bite or two big bites. Yeah, I kind of got in a, a bad rotation today, I think. Uh, I was fishing around a lot more people today than I thought I would be, and I started at the wrong end, I think. A lot of them got caught before I got there, but um, we got a lot of weather coming in, so it's going to shake things up. We'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. We'll see you back here tomorrow, the top 35. Move on to the weekend. Our next angler from Denver, North Carolina, Rob Dye. Had 18 pounds, three ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Five fish for 12 pounds, six ounces. Gives you 30 pounds and nine ounces. A little tougher day, but it should be enough to get you back out there again tomorrow. I don't know. These boys bringing up some big old fish, but uh, this is a great place. First time I've ever been here, and I'm definitely going to come back. Y'all got a great place out here, Palaka. It's awesome. I want to say hello to my family. And I don't think that's going to be enough, but if it's not, the good Lord blessed me these last two days. It's been beautiful, and now I'm going to go to Lanier. I'm hoping it's enough. If it's not, we'll see it at Lanier, but if it is, we'll see you tomorrow. From Dadeville, Alabama, get loud for Kelly J. Had 18 pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 18 pounds and 8 ounces. He moves into second place with 37 pounds and 6 ounces. And the longtime Elite Series Pro, Kelly J from Alabama, is throwing his hat into this ring. Sitting in the top two right now. 37 pounds, 6 ounces, and uh, you're in this battle. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun going into the weekend, but... Rumor is that weather's going to change a little bit. Does that concern you? No, not really, because I'm kind of I'm not on the bank, so I'm actually hoping that weather comes in to maybe push those bank fish uh, out to where I'm at. So I'm, I'm still only getting eight or nine bites a day, but you know the five are the right ones. So uh, I'm gonna go out there tomorrow and hope I get five more right bites and uh, fish Sunday. I love to see you here all the way through to Sunday. Palaka, I know you're going to get loud. He's a former Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Palaka, Florida, Cliff Prince. Had 18-3 yesterday and another good day here today. Five fish for 18 pounds and six ounces. Talk about a consistent tournament with 36 pounds, nine ounces. He moves into third place currently. And two back-to-back -back days, just separated by three ounces. <laughs> Every single one of your fish the same size, basically. You know, you're two days separated by three ounces. So you're trying to play the game of, of, of staying steady through this as opposed to, you know, the bed fishing game, I assume. Well, you know, I, I, I've tried the bed fishing deal, and I, ju I just can't slow down. <laughs> when I'm in there looking, I'm on high because I know I can go out there and catch three-pounders all day long. So it's kind of hard for me to, to settle down. I did see an eight-pounder today, and I caught the male. I didn't know he was there, and she got a little crazy. Uh, but, you know, maybe she'll be there in the morning. I don't know. Does this weather coming in, does it help you or hurt you in your situation? i got to believe it helps you. Oh, yeah. You know, a day like today and yesterday, with it slick, calm like that, generally speaking, the fish don't bite good in this river, especially on the bars like I'm fishing. With the weather, you know, as long as the wind's not too bad where I can control my boat and all that, they should bite. What do you think of that, Polaka? You want to see him here through to Sunday? I know I want to see you here on Sunday. Go get it done. Sitting in third place right now, our next angler from New Jersey, Elite Series a rookie. Get loud for him, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a little love. Greg De Palma. Had 18 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Backing it up with another big bag here today on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish for 20 pounds and 10 ounces. He now moves into second place with 39 pounds and 2 ounces. Good Lord, look at that thing. We're going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass of the day. 
Needs to be better than seven pounds. Not a problem. 815, and there's your brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass Leader. And uh, this Elite Series thing's working out pretty good for you, huh? Yeah, not too bad. We got our personal best there. And I, I, hey, I like the big girls, and there's no ways around it, you know, out here for sure. But, uh, yeah. Man, it's, it's been a. It's been a heck of a tournament so far, uh, you know, coming out and having a shot to fish tomorrow, to say the least. I, I can't be no more excited, man, than I am right now. You know, I, I love it. I'm pretty sure you got more than a shot. We'll see you tomorrow morning, and everybody loves the big girls. From Newport, New York, you get loud for Jamie the Hammer Hartman. Jamie Hartman had a tough day yesterday, but a better day today. Six pounds, five ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 17 pounds and six ounces. A much better day today with 23 pounds, 11 ounces. He salvages many Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. Twenty-three pounds, eleven ounces, and uh, I don't know if it's enough to get you back out there tomorrow. But as you know, you know this is a long race. This being the first leg, you saved yourself a ton of Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points today. And that's what it was today, man. I knew I bonded so bad yesterday. I, I had to go out there and, and totally switch it up. You know, I got stuck in a place yesterday that the bite was it was non-existent, and. Uh, you know, I, there was two places to go this week, and, you know, when I went down the river, it was a split. And yesterday I made the wrong turn and ended up in the wrong area trying to grind it out. And today I, I just scrapped that completely and went and started over and got into them pretty good. So, hey, man, it, it was points. That's what it was. So I figured I needed 21, 22 today to fish tomorrow. A little shy. Well, the good news is, Valley and Effort got yourself some points, and I'm pretty sure Lanier will set up good for your style of fishing. Our next angler from Del Rio, Texas. Get loud for Ray Hanselman, Jr. 19 pounds, 2 ounces yesterday. A little tougher day today, but still a good day. Five fish for 11 pounds, 6 ounces. Gives you 30 pounds, 8 ounces. Puts you in 10th. And you should get back out there tomorrow. Yeah, that was the goal. You know, you always want to fish the third day, give yourself self a chance to fish on the fourth day. But, uh, you know, I had where I'm fishing, I can't see them, and, and the water kind of fell out on me a little bit, and they kind of pulled off. So it was a kind of a grind today. But, you know, hopefully I get to fish tomorrow, and, and you know, the conditions are going to be a little different. So the guys looking at it might struggle a little bit, and maybe I can capitalize on that. Looking forward to seeing how it all works out. From Youngsville, Louisiana, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, won a Phoenix Boats Big Bass title last year, Tyler Carrier. Had 11 pounds, 6 ounces, 5 fish to add to that here today. 10 pounds, 4 ounces, going to give you 21, 10, and unfortunately a little short of the cut here this week, but uh, I'm going to move on to Lanier in a uh, long season ahead. Oh, yeah, you know, I mean, hey, when you come to Florida, it's always fun. Either it's going to be good to you or it's going to be bad, and this week it was bad to me, you know, but last time we were here, it was real good. But, uh, hey, I had a good time. Y'all got an awesome fishery here. Y'all keep it up, and uh, we're going to get that Lanier and put our heads up, and we, we just, we're going to go get that Lanier. I look forward to seeing you there. We saw him on Bassmaster Live, Elite Series rookie from Texas, Brad Watley. 23 pounds and four ounces yesterday. Unfortunately, one short of a limit here today. Four fish on day number two, but get him through that cut. 13 pounds, two ounces. He's done enough for that by the looks of things. With 36 pounds and six ounces, he moves into fifth place currently. Let's hear it for him. Welcome Brad Watley to the Bassmaster Elite Series. 36 pounds and six ounces, and uh, I know it's frustrating to uh, be one short of a limit, and uh, I know we saw you on live, uh, came so close to getting that limit fish, but should have done enough to get out there again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I hope so. You know, these guys are bringing some sacks in today. They caught them. Um, hopefully I can go back out there tomorrow, and if I, if I do make it out there tomorrow, I might adjust, I might change up, do something different, no doubt. All right, well, I'm pretty sure you're going, so we'll find out at the end of the way. And our next angler, it's his birthday today, so you got to get real, real loud. From North Carolina, get loud for Hank Cherry. 
The birthday boy has got a birthday bag of bass. 713 yesterday, but today's his birthday. 22 pounds, 9 ounces. 22 pounds and 9 ounces, and that is a birthday gift that every angler would be excited about. Let's hear it for Hank Cherry. That's better than a cupcake with a candle in it any day. How about that? Uh, going to give you 30 pounds, 6 ounces, and... Uh, Probably left the dock this morning in pretty dismal spot points-wise, but you probably have done enough here on your birthday to get out there tomorrow, and that's a pretty good payday for your birthday. Yeah, you know, um, sometimes you just can't teach stupid. <laughs> you know, yesterday I, I did what was going on in practice, uh, and it was cold. I was using my Garmin live scope and finding some fish off those drops and could cast to them, catch them on a jerk bait, chatter bait, things like that. And I tried to make it work yesterday and it didn't work. It just didn't happen. So today I kind of uh, switched up went somewhere I've never been before, and they were there. It, I could have had a lot better day. I had to uh, pull the split rings off my top water. So if I make it tomorrow, I know where they're at. I'm by myself. I never saw a boat. I'm going to go there the whole day, see what happens. But the day started off great. I got a call from my mom. You know, we're, not, we're probably not the closest, but she call, calls me every year on my birthday, the time I was born, somewhere like 530. I don't know. I'm half asleep and the phone rings. Uh, my wife called, seeing happy birthday to me. My kids. Uh, they're going up so fast, but they're there. My support group at home, my support group and my sponsors, I couldn't do this without them. And, you know, it's just a, it's just a great feeling, you know, on birthday to have that happen. And actually that eight pounder came, you hear this all the time, it came on my very last cast before I ran back. I was getting ready to pick the troll motor up and I said, one more cast and I threw my top water, hit the water and she devoured it. So I guess sometimes just meant to be. Wow, incredible. Happy birthday. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. One of the most dominant tournament anglers in Canadian history finally comes to the Elite Series. Get loud for Chris Johnston. Had 21 pounds and 5 ounces yesterday. Looking for 24.10 to take the lead today. 25 pounds, 11 ounces. 25, 11. And the Johnston juggernaut comes across the border to the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs> 47 pounds even. And boy, what a difference about 27 hours makes in somebody's life. At about 1 o'clock yesterday, you had a 2.5 pounder in your live well. And 26, 27 hours later, you are leading this event. It's an unbelievable feeling. I'm happy just to be here. I don't know if I'll go out and catch a bass tomorrow, but I'm still having fun. And I had quite the day yesterday. Today was just as stressful, so who knows what tomorrow's going to throw at me. But hopefully I can get one of these St. John's Giants. I was lucky enough to get three of them today, so you never know what's going to happen out here. Well, half of Canada has been texting me complaining that you aren't on Bassmaster Live. We sent a Skype camera out to make them happy. But I'm happy to report you'll be able to watch them all day tomorrow. Bassmaster Live in your first Elite Series tournament. Got to be on cloud nine. It's awesome, and I'm glad I am uh, fortunate enough to be able to represent some of our anglers from Canada. There's some great sticks up there that don't have the opportunity to come fish in the States where there's more recognition. So uh, on all those guys back home and women watching, I appreciate all the support and uh, look forward to tomorrow. They're really just supporting you because they're tired of you beating them, to be honest. They're doing themselves a favor. But let's hear it for your tournament leader, Chris Johnston. From Lake Wiley, South Carolina, get loud for Todd Otten. 16 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday for Todd. Five fish here today for eight pounds, five ounces. Going to give you 25-2 and put you in 15th. And that's right around the bubble. It's going to be a nail biter. Well, I know that's that's not going to go very far. I'll probably be down there toward the end by the time all them big bags get through here. But, uh, you know, I had a fun week here in Florida and uh, always glad to come down here this time of year and catch all these fish. But today just it didn't work out for me. You know, I had a couple lost fish and everything. But um, sometimes it's your day and sometimes it ain't. Well, I hope you slide in there. If not, we'll see you at Lake Lanier, but we'll see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. Right. Thank you. Fingers crossed. We'll find out. Florida, let's bring out one of your very own back on the Elite Series, Kobe Krieger.
Had 14 pounds, 3 ounces yesterday, 5 fish here today. Let's get him inside that cut. 12 pounds and 3 ounces with 26, 6. Guesstimate wise, you should be on the right side of the cut, but you know how that is. We're going to have to bite our fingernails. Well, the way my luck goes, I'll be like three spots on the wrong side of it, but hey, that's fishing. Uh, you know, had a good day, and you know, all these great big fish are coming in, so it's frustrating because I mean, I had my Minn Kota All Treks on high going and searching around Lake George, and I, mean, I pretty much caught everything I saw. I just never saw any big ones today, and that's just the way it goes. And. We'll see what happens, and if I don't fish tomorrow, I'll probably come say hi to a few fans and then head to Lanier. Well, we'll see you tomorrow one way or the other. I hope it's that takeoff in the morning. From Tennessee, a former Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open champion, Skylar Hamilton. Had 10 pounds even yesterday, three fish here today. Three fish for five pounds, 15 ounces. Unfortunately, going to be short of the cut here this week. But uh, good news is, start of the season, you got Lake Lanier ahead of you. Oh, yeah, Lake Lanier is ahead of us. Uh, sun's out here. I get to work on tackle tomorrow, unfortunately. But, man, this is a beautiful venue. I love the river. I just absolutely suck here for some reason. But um, it's a beautiful community, uh, wonderful people, real nice people. And I've just had a great time being here. So thank you guys for coming out, and I hope we come back soon. All right, great to have you here. Let's bring out another angler as part of our Canadian Invasion on the Elite Series, the pride of Kenora, Ontario, Jeff Gussie Gustafson. Had six pounds, five ounces yesterday, a better day today. Going to earn some valuable angler of the year points here. Five fish for 14.9. Gives you 20 pounds and 14 ounces. You got little girls holding signs, so you better hold up a fish for them. Jeff, uh, 20 pounds, 14 ounces, and uh, went a long way to salvage some Angler of the Year points. I mean, everyone gets paid on the Elite Series now, but uh, I know you always want to be on the right side of that cut. But that might have been the, you know, when this all shakes out at the end of the year, that might have been the most powerful day you had to get yourself back here. Well, the most important thing for us every day is getting a limit. So I got that today. That was a small victory. I, I fished all new water and uh, fished pretty close to, to here, really, but but a lot more fun. Um, been a fun week. Been a fun experience this first tournament. And I, uh, Lake Lanier is one of my favorite places I've ever fished down south, so I'm, I'm jacked up for that one next week. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. Looking forward to having you on the seat tour all season long. Oh, last time we were here, last time we came here, who was here? Anyone come to the way? Last time we were here, we had a tournament angler that had to leave. And here he is because he had to leave for that little dude to be born right there. Paul Mueller, ladies and gentlemen. 12 pounds even yesterday. Today, 8-12 gives you 20-12. And the good news is you don't have to travel as far to see your child this time. Yeah, the good news is this is over because I, I struggled all day today, fished new water, uh, tried to make it happen, and it didn't happen. So, uh, man, I don't know. The guys are catching them. Not surprised, but uh, looking forward to the next one. That's that's my style. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for coming out. I hope we come back, and uh, I guess I'm going to have to scout next time because uh, it would have been helpful for sure. We look forward to seeing you at Lanier, and I know you'll be part of the mix there. Let's keep the Canadians rolling. The third member of our Canadian invasion from Cavan, Ontario. Get loud for Corey Johnston. Started the day with 21 pounds and an ounce. He's got five fish here today. 19 pounds, 15 ounces, gives you 41 pounds even, and he's in third place. Both Johnson brothers inside the top three at their first Bassmaster Elite Series event. You are going to have a Bassmaster live camera with you tomorrow, and uh, all day long the internet blew up with you got you and your brother out here. You got incredible support back home, and uh, did you ever imagine it coming together this quick for both of you guys? You know what I mean? I'm sure at the beginning you're like, hey, hopefully we have our good run in the Elite Series. But your first event, I mean, it's ha I said to your brother, you had no fish 27 hours ago, and now you're leading the tournament. It's amazing.
Yeah, you know what? It's been an incredible experience. You know, uh, Bass has treated us Canadians absolutely incredible, and we get a ton of support back home from from everyone, and even the, everyone in the U.S. as well. Um, the crowd's incredible here in Palatka, and it's a great atmosphere, and it's a great place to catch big bass. Tomorrow, weather's going to change. How's that going to affect you? Going to help you? Going to hurt you? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go fish and do what I've been doing. Um, I've been kind of running around looking for a bit of new water here and there, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. I know what I'm looking for, so we'll see what happens. I just want to do some quick math here. I'm not, not quite sure exactly how it works out, but just so you understand, can you explain to me how you and your brother – split the winnings you know some brothers competing how does it work at your household she's all 50 50 so if he wins it doesn't really matter to me so uh we'll see what happens they got one bank account and it all goes in there and it's going to be a good one by the looks of things from shelby north carolina get loud for matt airy Nineteen pounds and seven ounces yesterday. Another good day here today. Five fish on day number two. Eighteen pounds, eleven ounces. He moves into fifth place with thirty-eight pounds and two ounces. Look at that hydrilla gorilla. Going to put him into the weekend. Every good buddy gets paid on the Bassmaster Elite Series. But you get paid a little more if you stay through to the weekend, and uh, you don't got to sweat it out. You know you're going to work tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to get to work another day down here in Florida. And Florida's always been uh, my nemesis, man. I've really had a, a hero zero kind of record down here in Florida. But the sun's shining, it's getting warm, things are changing, and it's going to be fun tomorrow, I think. If that wind doesn't blow 30 miles an hour like they might be talking, I think it's going to be a good day. If Florida's already always been your nemesis, what what changed this time? Was it your approach? It, what changed? Well, I can tell you that. My, my, my biggest weakness is grass. All the grass is gone, so I think it's helping me a little bit. I know the locals don't want to hear that, but I swear I think it's helping me a little bit. So it worked out for you. Well, good. There you go. There's a positive to everything. Our next angler, a three-time classic qualifier from Georgia, Micah Frazier. Had 22 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Let's punch him into the weekend. Five fish today for 12 pounds, 4 ounces. Gives you 34 pounds and 12 ounces. And uh, sitting in 12th place. And uh, look to be fishing again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll take it, man. I had a really good day yesterday. And uh, after a bad practice. So, you know, to go out and make the cut in the first event of the year and get some solid points for the Classic and AOI and all that. So, I'm happy with it, and uh, tomorrow's a new day, and uh, there's a lot of big fish around where I'm fishing, so I'm going to, you know, maybe the potential's there to catch a big bag again and, and make a move, so we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. Always great to have you here from Newcomer's Town, Ohio, his second season on the Elite Series, Hunter Shryock. Had 17 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. 13 13 gives you 31 pounds five ounces and should be good enough to go out tomorrow yeah it's uh it was a little disappointing I, I didn't see some of the stuff that i wanted to but man we're in florida and i want to thank everybody for coming out this is a great turnout for the first event of the year so uh yeah still i'm still looking for them i'm gonna go hunting tomorrow my name's hunter and i'm putting it to good use this week so thanks everybody i want to thank my sponsors abu garcia berkeley spider wire power pole uh, field and stream without them you know I wouldn't be up here and without you guys none of us would be out here so thank you guys isn't that the truth a former PAA angler of the year from Winchester Tennessee Gary Klaus had 11 pounds 7 ounces yesterday looking for a little more than that to get inside the cut here today Five fish for Gary Klaus on day number two, 11 pounds, 10 ounces with 23-1. Unfortunately, you qualify for an early trip to Lake Lanier. Yeah, ain't that right? You know, I'll take off. We'll take off the uh, the braided line and put on the spinning rods and the 12-pound line. Take off the shorts and put on the long underwear, probably. So, <laughs> but you know, wasn't wasn't the way I would like to start out my Elite Series debut. But you know what? I'm I'm out here running around the country, get to see all the a lot of cool places. I mean, a lot of cool people get to taste the culture of the towns like this where we go into. So, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's awesome to have you here, and I look forward to seeing you all season long. Our next angler from Texas, his first event on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Frank the Tank Atali. 
Frank Talley had eight pounds, ten ounces yesterday. A lot more today, ladies and gentlemen. What a comeback. Five fists for 18 pounds even. He moves into 18th place with 26 pounds and 10 ounces. Twenty-six pounds, ten ounces, and sitting in eighteenth place. And uh, let's hope that it's enough to stay in this. Yeah, I don't know if it is, but uh, you know, I at least had to get some good points coming back from uh, yesterday. So I'm happy with what I got. I'd appreciate uh, say hi to my wife and uh, my family back home. I love y'all. I'll be home in a week and a half when we get done with Lanier. We love having you on the Elite Series. We'll see you at Lake Lanier, or see you tomorrow. From Kissimmee, Florida, back on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Jesse Tecarante. Oh, you say that so nice. <laughs> 12 12 yesterday, five fish here today. Nine pounds, eight ounces, gives you 22 pounds and four ounces, and you're sitting in 26th place currently, and uh, probably not going to be enough to get back out there. No, it's not. Uh, you know, I went backwards today. I caught a lot of fish, but they kept shrinking on me. And, uh,. They gave me a bass track today, and I just couldn't. Every five minutes, I was catching a 12-incher. I just quit doing it. But I got to give a shout-out to Blazer Boats, man. I ran that river today uh, from here all the way to Lake George. And yesterday, the same thing to the very south end of George and back. I didn't burn 22 gallons of fuel at 78 miles an hour, fully loaded. That is incredible. That, that boat is just unbelievable on efficiency. So, guys, go check them out, man. Blazer Boats, appreciate you. Very cool. We'll check them out for sure, and thank you. Speaking of checking them out, check out this guy, a Bassmaster Classic champion. Get loud for Jay Yellis. 13 pounds and 4 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 16 pounds and 3 ounces with 29 pounds, 7 ounces. Jay Ellis stick handles himself into the weekend, making his first Bassmaster Elite Series cut. Jay, uh, a little bit better day today and uh, a little bit better day in the right side. You're going to end up on the right side of that cut by the looks of things, and that's always the goal. That's always, yeah, the goal for sure. And I was really blessed. I had about eight pounds with ten minutes to go fishing in the day. And I flipped that Senko up by this little bush and caught that seven-pounder, and I flipped it back in there and caught a three-pounder. I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'll take it. But yeah, it was a grind, you know, but there's, this is, we're in Florida. There's a ton of big bass out here. And uh, it's, you just never know what's going to bite on the next cast. So you just keep working, put your head down, work hard right till the end of the day. It worked out pretty good for you. We look forward to seeing you work hard all day tomorrow. Our next angler from Michigan, Garrett Paquette. 12 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Tougher day today. Just two fish here today. 12, 10 yesterday. Two fish here today, and we'll get a weight on those fish. The agony of angling. It, little fish take a long time to get the weight to come up. It's just an evil thing about our sport. Two pounds, four ounces, and uh, going to be a 14 14. But uh, I got to imagine Lake Lanier sets up a little bit more to a Michigan guy's style. It does for sure. But, uh, you know, I have no excuses. I just didn't execute today. I didn't perform how I should have performed. Um, and it's a bummer because obviously there's so many giant fish in here that I don't get a chance to, you know, catch fish that size back home. Um, so to miss the boat on this one, it's going to sting, but, you know, next week we get a chance to turn it around. I'm looking forward to seeing you there, and I know you will. From Reed Springs, Missouri, a former TTVC champion, the snowman, Brian Snowden. Had 7.13 yesterday. Three fish here today. 11.2, going to give you 18.15, and... Uh, the good news is Lake Lanier is totally different and probably a lot more uh, in your lack of fishing. Yeah, you know, it's going to set up a lot like my home, Lake Table Rock. But, you know, I really enjoy Florida. I've done well in some of the other lakes around here. And, uh, you know, the hospitality and, uh, you know, I like the city and I like the river. You can spread out on it. But uh, sometimes you just miss the boat. I was uh, pretty excited to get started. Now we're going to have some work to do, dig out of this hole already. Well, I know you'll get out of it. And the good news is you get to enjoy all the hospitality this weekend. Yeah, you know, we'll come out tomorrow, hang out with people, just, you know, do a little discussion. So uh, look forward to that and another warm, beautiful day.
Awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. And you guys be here tomorrow between 1 and 3. We have our Angler Alley. They'll be here watching Bassmaster Live. Be a lot of fun. Guys like this are reigning Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. Had 8.13 yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 15 pounds, 6 ounces, gives him 24 pounds and 3 ounces, and moves him into 24th place currently. Jake, uh, 24 pounds, 3 ounces, and uh, unless the second half of the way and kind of tailors off, Probably not going to be enough to get back out there tomorrow, but uh, it's going to be close. No, yeah, probably won't be fishing tomorrow, but uh, saved saved a lot of points today, which is really good. And uh, it's a long year, so you know any day you can you know do a little better than than the day before is always good. So uh, we'll take it, move on, see if we can't go catch some spots at Lanier. I bet you will. We look forward to seeing you there from Alabama. His second year on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Bill Weidler. 12.9 yesterday, four fish here today for nine pounds at 12 ounces. He flipped the weights. He had 12.9 yesterday and 9.12 today. Twenty-two pounds and five ounces. Uh, unfortunately, going to be on the wrong side of the cut, but. Uh, you know, not going to be that far out of it, and that's the most important thing for end of the year. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, Florida's been my Achilles heel, so my goal was to get out of here. I really wanted to fish on Saturday, but, you know, I just I just didn't execute good today. But I, I, I'm not going to be at the bottom of the pack, so these points are going to be good for Angler of the Year, and we're going to go to Lanier and see what happens. I will see you there. We look forward to it. Our next angler, a former Geico Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Manford, Oklahoma, Dale Hightower. At 13 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 13, 10 yesterday. Today, five fish, 14 pounds, 13 ounces. Gives him 28 pounds and 7 ounces. And Dale Hightower looks to be fishing again tomorrow here in Palatka, Florida. Twenty-eight pounds, seven ounces, and uh, sitting in nineteenth place. And uh, you got to go get rigged and get ready because you're going again tomorrow. By the looks of things, well, I like to hear that. That sounds good. I hope it uh, works out that way for me. But uh, hey, I got to say, uh, man, I had a rough day getting started. It was slow for me. I had three uh, at one o'clock, and uh, I had I had thirty minutes left to fish, and made about a well, I had some time to run, but I, I made about a 40-mile run to a little old spot, little creek that I had to push to get to the back. I laid them talons down on the back of that express and went underneath a log and pushed my way to the back. I had to jump another log to get to the far back, but when I got back there, I whacked two real quick, just some time to, to get done and get back here. So I'm just proud of my equipment today. I'm proud of you for pulling it out at the last minute, and we'll see you tomorrow. From Spring Grove, Illinois, his second year in the Bassmaster Elite Series, Chris Grove. Had 5-12 yesterday, 8-2 today, and you qualify for an early trip to Lake Lanier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I want to start by thanking all you guys. Look at this crowd. You guys are awesome. Seriously, thanks for coming out and having us. And then I do have to say hello to my niece, Marlo, and Piper. They're sitting in front of the computer watching. Take care. That sounds like a plan. We'll see you at Lake Lanier, my friend. From Huntington, Texas, three-time TTBC champion, two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion, Keith Combs. Nine pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Five fish here today, 9.15, going to give you a 19.7 and uh, put you in an unfamiliar position, and that's on the wrong side of the cut. It happens. I mean, uh, you know, and, and you don't want to be on the wrong side of the cut here because it's warming up and the fish are biting. And, you know, it's an exciting place to fish because of the big fish potential. That's one thing I just haven't found this week. You know, I caught a lot of fish today, probably 15 fish. Just never could get the big ones, and, you know, that's, that's so much the key when you come to Florida. And a lot of it is just being in the right area, but... You know, I've had I've had good history here and had a lot of three three of the other times we've been here had top tens. 
So uh, I think that history might have worked against me a little bit this week because a lot of these guys hadn't seen this place, and it's different this year. So they're fishing with a, a lot cleaner slate, a lot cleaner mind, and uh, i just like to have a do-over on this week. Well, you'll write the ship next week at Lanier. I know you will. He weighed in our biggest fish yesterday, 11 pounds, 2 ounces, from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. 24-13 as of yesterday. Another good day here today. Five fish for John Cruz on day number two. 15-15 gives him 40 pounds and 12 ounces. And John Cruz moves into fourth place currently. Huh, no 11 pounder today? I used up all of my big fish luck yesterday. Uh, I feel really good about the day because today I caught more fish than I did in all of practice and probably combining yesterday with that as well. So maybe I figured out how to, how to get a few more bites, which is, which is nice, a little more, uh, uh, wor less worrisome when, you, when you're going out to fish. Uh, but, but I think a lot of fish are moving up. Hopefully the uh, cold weather for tomorrow won't, won't blow that totally out. But I'm looking forward to, to getting back out there. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. We're going to have a camera with you tomorrow by the looks of things. From Knoxville, Tennessee, former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, Brandon Card. Had 19-3 yesterday. Five fish here today. Let's keep them inside the cut. 12 pounds, 8 ounces. Not a problem. You move into 15th with 31-11, and you're going tomorrow. Yeah, you know, honestly, that's about the same bag that I had yesterday, minus the nine pounder. So, uh, you know, it's just crazy here. You catch, you know, two to three pounders, and you catch a nine pounder. And uh, so, hopefully, uh, I'll, you know, catch a big one tomorrow. But uh, this is the first cut that I made here since 2012. So I'm just stoked to fish on the weekend again. Off to a great start. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow from Payson, Arizona. Get loud for Clifford Perch. 13 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday, and a better day today by the looks of things. Currently in 51st place. That's about to change. Five fish for 20 pounds and five ounces. Gives him 34 pounds even. And Clifford Perch once again going to be fishing with us on the weekend. Remember the top 35 fish on Saturday, the top 10 on Championship Sunday. And that right there is a fin freak of nature. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 8.15 to take today's honors. 10 pounds, 4 ounces. 10 pounds, 4 ounces. And, uh, you know, the messed up part about that is you're not even going to win big bass for the tournament. That, that tells you how crazy this place is. Well, you know, it's not over yet. So uh, I, I might get to go tomorrow, and uh, maybe I'll beat old John on that big one. He had an 11 yesterday, but... Uh, you know, I, my first bite today, I lost one just like it. And uh, so I know there's some big ones swimming around in there. Yesterday, I could see see them a lot better. Uh, today, there was some pollen and, and uh, couldn't see quite as good. But uh, I know there's some really big ones swimming around in there. I was kind of hoping that uh, I could put a whole string of those things together. But I, I, at, at one point, I was just super excited to get the one big one. And, uh, you know, it, it really made my bag, obviously. But... Uh, that's the fun part about coming to Florida, and, uh, you know, obviously we got, like, the most unbelievable week of weather here, and uh, so it was a total blessing. I, I've been watching those uh, cold fronts come through, and, and uh, you know, you're just excited to see this kind of weather. So I, I'm excited. We get to go uh, fish another day and, and uh, see if I can catch another one like that, or maybe a couple. Go get rigged and get ready. You're going to get a shot at them. He is the reigning Forest Wood Cup champion from Alabama, Clint Davis. Clint Davis, 8-11 yesterday. Looks the things a better day today. Yeah, I, uh, I blind squirreled up a couple of them today. Well, let's get a weight on those. 18 pounds, 15 ounces gives him 27-10. And Clint Davis may just be fishing with us on Saturday, semifinal Saturday, on the Bassmaster Elite Series.
27 pounds, 10 ounces, and a great rally. Should put you on the right side of the cut. Yeah, you know, if it does, great. I'd love to go fishing again tomorrow. But either way, where I was sitting yesterday, man, I'm just uh, happy to figure a little something else out today and uh, move up a few spots. Great job. Going to earn you some Angler of the Year points. Our next angler from Richmond, Virginia. Get loud for Ed Lochran the third. 11.15 yesterday. Looks like a little bit better day today. 11.15 yesterday. Today, 14.8 gives him 26 pounds and 7 ounces. Currently sitting in 25th place. And the top 35 get to fish on semifinal Saturday. Twenty-six pounds, seven ounces, and uh, looks like you're going. I got out of your shot, so you could have a beautiful picture without me yelling behind you. That's what I was doing. But uh, great, uh, great rally today. That little bit better day should maybe put you in the cut. I think I'm going to probably miss it by just a little bit. But uh, yesterday I had only four fish, and that's going to end up costing me. It's funny that a uh, little one little keeper, a pound and a half fish, ends up costing you so much. But uh, maybe I make it. But I had a better day today, and it was. Uh, Nice revenge on the place. Awesome to have you here, and I hope you're still here tomorrow. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, get loud for Elite Series rookie Derek Hudnall. Derek got a good bag of fish here. 17-2 yesterday, and another good day here today. 17 pounds, 7 ounces with 34 pounds and 9 ounces. Derek Hudnall is going to be part of our semifinal Saturday field. The top 35 battling it out on the St. John's River. Thirty-four pounds and nine ounces, and that puts you in 14th place currently. And uh, unlike a lot of those guys back there, you don't got to worry. You know you're going to work tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, it, it was, uh, got the jitters out yesterday, but nothing helps the jitters than catching a big one first thing in the morning, and that's, I, I caught that big fish from right out the bat, and you know, that was the only female bite I got today, which I was a little discouraged at that, because I have an area all to myself, and it's a really big area, and there's plenty of fish in there, but uh, I'm hoping overnight that some more females move up, and I can bust a really big bag, because I really think I'm in the right area to do that. I'm looking forward to seeing it. You're going to get the shot, and it's going to be a fun year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. From Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. J. Willie, a two-time Elite Series champion, over a million dollars in earnings on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Had 12.15 yesterday, 14 even today, and 26 pounds, 15 ounces, puts you in 25th place. Kind of biting your fingernails for a few more minutes here. Yeah, I don't think it'll be enough. But man, I love Palatka. I love the St. John's River. And uh, against these guys, you got to execute. And um, it just hadn't been my week. I've lost too many. But uh, I enjoy every time I get to come here. And I'm looking forward to coming back. Looking forward to seeing you. You know what it's time for? It's time for a former Bass Nation angler, or Bass Nation national champion from Louisiana. Let me hear it for Caleb Sumrall. Hurt his back lifting that bag there. 5-2 yesterday, 6-6 six, six today, 11 pounds, 8 ounces, and the sun's shining. It's a beautiful day. Hey, somebody, I, this ain't Sean. I, I showed who's who's boss today. I went out there, man, I gave it everything I had, and I just couldn't connect. I couldn't get anything going. I was really excited to come here. It, it looks a lot like home, um, and I was really comfortable wherever I fished. I was a little too comfortable, and I didn't make the right moves that I needed to, but I had a great time here. Um, I want to thank all my sponsors for allowing me to do this. Kaiset Coolers. I had a 25 liter ice chest in my boat this week during practice. I put one bag of ice in it. It held ice all three days. You need to check them out. I want to mainly thank my wife at home. Couldn't do this without her. She's watching my one year old little boy and our one year old, uh, seven year old little girl. And it takes a strong woman to do that while I'm on the road for the back to back weeks and uh, guiding on Toledo Bend and all that good stuff. I so. I want to thank her and thank you, Palaka. Look at this Friday crowd, man. This is awesome. Thank you and look forward to seeing you all season long from one Louisiana angler to another, a former Carhartt College Bass champion, Brett Pruitt. I want to remind our marshals we have a meeting right after way and out front here, so don't go anywhere. 
11 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday, 4 or 5 today. Going to give you 15, 10, but uh, not the Elite Series event you wanted to start the season off, but I know you have a bunch of good ones ahead of you. Oh, yeah, I kind of took a big gamble today, and it didn't uh, it didn't play out like I wanted it to, but that's fishing, and a uh, good thing I ain't got to wait too long for redemption. Uh, we go to Lanier next week, so I can go out there and try to whack them. Um, just got to thank family back home, the man upstairs for helping me live my dream, and all my sponsors that make this happen, and I'm going to go out and catch them next week. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Great to have you back here in the Elite Series. From North Carolina, another Elite Series rookie, Shane LaHue. The baby shark, 20 pounds, 8 ounces, 5 fish to add to that here today. 9.13 gives you 30 pounds and 5 ounces, pushing 22nd with 30 anglers left. Got to stay in that top 35. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, I think baby shark's going to have to change after today because we caught a bunch of babies. So, um, no, it, I was fishing around a bunch of people catching them. I don't know what happened. I just got a lot of little bites and uh, never, I lost one, probably three to four pounder. I lost it three times on the bed and, and that's probably going to be the difference for me making the cut. But um, if you guys get a chance, all the Florida guys around here, I know you guys like to throw a stick bait, check out the new uh, Berkeley Power Bait General. Uh, I was catching most of my fish on the uh, five inch in green pumpkin. All right, we'll check it out for sure. The Berkeley Trailer's here, so we'll swing by. From South Carolina, get loud for Brandon Cobb. At 1913 yesterday, and another good day here today. 1913 yesterday, five fish here today on day number two. 23 pounds and an ounce gives him 42 pounds and 14 ounces. And the C-O-double-B moves into the top three. Get loud for Brandon Cobb. Brandon, 42 pounds, 14 ounces, and uh, I don't care what tournament you're fishing. That's going to put you in a good spot, and it definitely did. Third place. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that, especially here in Florida. It's up and up and down for me down here. So uh, it was a little bit tougher day, actually, than yesterday. I hit one little patch kind of late in the day. I was having an average day and caught four real, real good ones right at the end. So uh, hopefully there'll be some left for tomorrow. We'll see. I uh, don't really know what to expect, but we'll go after them again. Well, the good news is you're going to find out. We'll watch it tomorrow, hopefully, on Bassmaster Live. He's your day one leader with 25 pounds, two ounces from Gonzales, Louisiana, Robbie Latuso. 25 pounds and two ounces yesterday, five fish today for 13.15. Not the day you wanted to back it up, but when you weigh such a ridiculous bag on day number one, you can drop a little bit and still be in our top 10. 39 pounds an ounce in your seventh place. Yeah, I don't even know what happened today. I just, uh, I didn't even see a big fish. I did the same thing I did yesterday. Uh, just went right over them, I guess. I'll go at them tomorrow and swing again. I'd like to thank uh, Georgia Boys Fish Camp for taking care of us all week, and thank y'all for the shrimp ball, Mike. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow from Texas, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Randy Sullivan. Didn't get to see you yesterday. Great to see you here today, Randy. Great to have you in the Elite Series 512. Obviously not going to make the cut, but uh, Lake Lanier next. What are you thinking about that? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking uh, forward to just about everything else. You know, I knew down here was going to be my bane, and it's, it's a lot to learn. It's, uh, you know, I tried to go uh, away from the flow a little bit. That didn't work out too good. So, you know, just got to take my knocks and go on. Relax for a couple days, and we'll see you down the road at Lake Lanier from Ava, Missouri, the legendary Mr. Rick Clun. Had 17 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday, and an even bigger day today, ladies and gentlemen. Five fish for Rick Clun. 23 pounds, 11 ounces, and with 41 pounds, even the defending champion in this event moves into the top five in fourth place currently. <laughs> 41 pounds, even, and... Uh, 
Rick, uh, 41 pounds even, and uh, whenever your weights get better in a Florida tournament, you know you're doing something right. Yeah, I'm, I'm on fish. Uh, I'm not getting very many bites, but they're good ones, and that's really what you ask for with a five-fish limit. And they are the right ones. And uh, do could we see lightning strike twice? You could win this event back-to-back. Uh, I try to stay away from lightning, but I can still win it without that. All right. That's smart. That's why you're still around. That's very smart stuff there. From Lake Gaston, Virginia, get loud for Rick Morris. Two pounds, four ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today, 9-13. And we're going to get to go a little near, a little early, and uh, a lot of events ahead of us. Yeah, how about that Rick Clung, man? I swear, he is still my hero. I mean, after all these years, he's just cracking them still. I hope I can hang in there. I'm getting up there in age, too. But anyway, uh, you know, my mistake is I didn't go down to the lake like I normally do. I tried to make the canal thing work. It didn't work for me. But today I caught a limit. I always enjoy fishing here. The weather's great. My dad's here. He lives in the villages. So I always like coming to, to uh, Florida. And as you know, you know, I'm here for fishing for our troops. So... Let's give the military and the first responders a big hand. And anyway, I look forward to coming back next year. You got a great community and a great fishery. We'll see you next week. Time for our Bass Nation National Champion. Let me hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen, Randy Pearson. Had four pounds, nine ounces yesterday, but bringing us a limit here today. Get him up that leaderboard a bit. 12 pounds, 8 ounces, gives you 17-1, and uh, gain some angler of the year points. Yeah, I, I salvaged today a little bit. Uh, here in Florida, first, first time to Florida, learning experience, first time in a Phoenix boat, learn how to drive that, and it's an awesome boat uh, with the new Mercury four-stroke. That's an awesome motor. Um, and I got to thank all my sponsors and say hi to my wife and kids, and uh, especially Chicken Ranch Casino taking care of me. So. Great sponsor to have. We'll look forward to seeing you at our next event from Louisiana. Let me hear it for Quentin Capo. At 13 pounds, 7 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 14 pounds even gives him 27 pounds, 7 ounces. And uh, you may just go to work tomorrow, but... Uh, Got to fend a few guys off here. You got six spots of cushion. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it to tomorrow, but I would love a chance to go. I ran some new water and found some cool stuff. So it was a good tournament. I had a good time here at Black. Y'all have been awesome. I just want to thank everybody. Service crews, Strike King, Bass Cat, and Mercury and all that. It's good. It's always great to have you here. Excited to see you all season long. From North Carolina, get loud for Shane Leinberger. Shane Leinberger had 13 pounds, 7 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 16 pounds, 7 ounces gives him 29, 14. Dig deep in that Berkeley weigh-in bag. Twenty nine fourteen and uh twenty sixth place. You got nine spots of cushion with nineteen anglers or twenty one anglers left to weigh in. Well I did all I could do and I mean, you know, if they beat me, they beat me. I I don't really know what else to say. You did your job. I I think you might sneak in there. I hope you're right. I mean I really I really blew some opportunities yesterday. Today I fished clean. So I mean, you know, I can't complain. I'm just uh just happy to be here really. Great to have you back here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Hey, I had a new sponsor come on board with me this year, Champion Power Equipment. I hey, you know everybody out here hunts and fishes. They got generators, winches, power washers for all your needs. Check them out. We will definitely check them out. And here's one of Florida's very own from Okeechobee, Florida, Kyle Monte. <laughs> had seven pounds, eight ounces yesterday. And a much better day here today. Five fish to add to seven eight from yesterday. Is it enough to get him fishing tomorrow? Eighteen pounds, eight ounces. He moves into thirty-fifth place with twenty-six pounds even.
26 pounds even, and the good news is you're in the cut. The bad news is 35 guys in the cut, you're in 35th place. So how are you going to stop them from coming up here? I don't know, man. I see what's coming up behind me, and it, they, they got some big bags coming in. I wish I could go tomorrow. I mean, I broke one big one off today, but, you know, that's fishing. I went somewhere completely new today, and the good Lord blessed me, but I'm always happy if I got him with me, man. I, I can't do this without the support of my family and my sponsors, and, you know, we're three hours away, so they all came up, and he got to see this one. So thank you guys for coming out. Palaki, you've been great. We'll probably be hanging around at the Omaha booth tomorrow. Awesome, and a great rally here today, and good to meet you, buddy. Let's bring our next angler um, from South Carolina, Patrick Walters. Patrick Walters had 13 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that, and five good ones. 23 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 10th place with 37 pounds and 6 ounces. Good Lord, look at the size of that fish right there. We're going to weigh it for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Currently leading 10-4, 9 pounds, 12 ounces, and uh, just shy of a 10-pounder there. Not a bad fish to catch at your first Elite Series event. Oh, that is true. It was a good day. Actually, the day started out horrible for me. Uh, I started on my starting spot, and uh, I caught one fish real quick, and then two guys pulled in. I mean, they pulled further down, and they caught limits, I swear to you, before I had another bite. And so they're over there culling, and I could not get another bite, and I missed about my first eight fish. And I told myself, I said, hey, Patrick, just calm down and just go fishing. And uh, that's what happened. I ended up leaving and running into those fish about 1 o'clock. I ran feeling pretty good. Worked out pretty good. Great to have you here. We'll see you tomorrow. Our next angler, a three-time FLW Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendland. Had 14 pounds, 4 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Trying to get into semifinal Saturday with 18 pounds, 6 ounces. He may just have done it. 32 pounds and 10 ounces. Here's the crazy part. 18 pounds, 6 ounces. And yesterday, just four fish. I mean, and you, with one short of a limit yesterday, but you're still in the top uh, 25. Yeah, I mean, it, there's just big bass here, and you got to have a big one in Florida. And we know that, and they're coming like crazy. It's it's uh, it's amazing how many big fish there are in this place. It really is. Really awesome, and it's awesome to have you here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. We'll see you tomorrow. All the way from Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. 14-13 yesterday. Looks like more here today. Five fish for 22 pounds even. He moves into 12th place with 36 pounds and 13 ounces. Thirty-six pounds, thirteen ounces, and uh, that's the way to rally right back into it in twelfth place right now. Yeah, I had fun out there. I'm, I'm like smallmouth fishing out on the river. It's not bad. There's some big, big smallmouth though. Yeah, they are. They're a little different, a little funny color, but uh, basically just fishing them the same way I fish them back home. I, I didn't know fish in Florida live that deep, but I guess they do. Working out good, and that weather may actually help you. We'll find out. From Auburn, Alabama, three-time Elite Series champion, Steve Kennedy. 11 pounds, 8 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 10 pounds, 4 ounces with 21, 12. You get to visit something you don't visit often, and that's a weekend off on the Elite Series. I'm telling you, but uh, it's all about a big bite. I had one today. You know, you see the pads parting as it was coming to get it, and it actually ate the end of the pads, tore them down, and turned around, pitched back in there, bit again, and jumped four foot in the air and came off. So, uh, but yeah, it's all about one bite here. It just, it's a, it's a difference maker, and I didn't do it. So, 
headed to Lanier. We look forward to seeing you there, and I know you'll catch him there. Our next angler, his first event on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Louisiana, Tyler Rivet. Tyler has the loudest cheering squad. It's the, it's the first event. I'll be impressed if at stop number nine, you're just as loud. <laughs> Today, 13 pounds, 14 ounces, gives you 21 pounds, 15 ounces. Short of the cut, but uh, something tells me you're going to have fun this weekend anyways. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to have fun. Uh, I'm real thirsty right now from uh, sitting in that sun all day. But I had a blast today. It was uh, way better than yesterday, but uh, I caught about 50 fish today. and I didn't even move all day, so it was pretty fun. And uh, just, man, I, I was excited. I finally figured them out, and uh, I figured out the two and a halfs now. I had the 12 inches yesterday, so the two and a halfs are pretty good. If, uh, if I'd have went back yesterday, I might have caught the, I mean, tomorrow I might have had a three and a half. So, uh, I don't know. It's, these guys can catch them. Whew. I wasn't expecting like all of this. Like normally for the tournaments, I'll just try to catch a limit or something and uh, survive. But she can't survive with just a limit. You gotta catch like 18 pounds just to do something. So it's awesome. They, there's some good fishermen here. And uh, I just want to thank my family, of course. They the, the best cheer squad you got. Yeah. And uh, all my sponsors, American Custom Yachts, and. Uh, just uh, six kill Denali, everybody. I just this is fun. This is my first time. I I hope to be back here for many years. I'm sure you will be. We look forward to having you here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. From Fayetteville, Tennessee, looking to stump on mud hole in I'm Brandon Lester. Eleven pounds at fifteen ounces yesterday. Much better day today. Five fish for 22 pounds, five ounces. Gives them 34 pounds in four ounces. And looks like Brandon Lester's gonna be with us on semifinal Saturday here at the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs> 34 pounds in four ounces and uh, what a rally. And it's good enough to get you back out there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad of that. You know, yesterday I had my opportunities to have a lot better bag, and today I just kind of put it all together, and, and it came together, and the good Lord blessed me, and it was, it was a good day, man. It's a lot of fun out there. we got a weather change coming in tomorrow, but looking forward to getting back out there for sure. You're always one to be reckoned with and proving it again today. From Reed Springs, Missouri, get loud for Chad Morgan Taylor. Had 10 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday, five fish here today, and five better ones. Is it enough for him to break somebody's heart right at the end of the way in here? 20 pounds even. I think he's broken a heart with 30 pounds, 10 ounces. Chad Morgenthaler going fishing tomorrow. Thirty pounds and ten ounces, and uh, boy, it doesn't matter what day you catch them, as long as we we'll get to day number two and you're in the top 35, and it looks like you're going to do that. Dude, you could knock me over with a feather right now. I swear, I never, I never dreamed. I guess I just these fish, these Florida fish, fool you on their weight. Um, I just made an adjustment today, and it, it was a, it was unbelievable. I mean, the first place I stopped, there was nothing there, and I, I immediately left and. Uh, fell into another area and literally just stayed there all day and I had a chance at a couple of great big fish today and lost them but um, that's the way it goes you know fishing that this way it's a it's a privilege if I get to fish tomorrow I sure would like to so but I want to thank everybody for coming out and having such a great fishery and having some of the best fishing in the United States thank you thank you his first event here in the Bassmaster Elite Series from Texas Lee Livesey Nineteen pounds and twelve ounces yesterday. And look out. A giant day. He needs twenty-seven pounds five ounces, but he's got a giant day. Twenty-six pounds six ounces. Lee Levesy is right there knocking at our leaderboard. What a rally. 
a good day yesterday, but a way better day here today, day number two on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Lee, I mean, I, I got to get you to tell a story. I mean, you guys, we hear stories about, you know, I mean, I could catch them pretty good if I had all that fancy equipment and best rods and reels and all that stuff. But you caught one today really not using a rod and reel. I used it for a second, but not the whole way. I threw a real long cast out there, picked up on it, felt one. Stuck her. It was the biggest one I had. And when I stuck her, somehow my braid got wrapped around my rod two or three times. But I didn't know it. I just knew I couldn't reel. I thought my reel broke. And I went to panicking because she ran right at me. So I just threw my rod down and grabbed the line and yelled at my marshal to get out of the way. Jumped in the back of the boat and just handlined it all the way in. She jumped like six or seven times. It was crazy. But I got her in the boat. <laughs> hey, style points don't pay anymore as long as you got them and you're fishing tomorrow. How do you feel about that? I feel great. I just want to thank all y'all out here uh, in Palatka for coming out and seeing us. We really appreciate it. Uh, everybody I've met from the docks to the restaurants, everywhere, y'all are all awesome. And I want to thank all my sponsors. And uh, most importantly, I want to thank everybody back at home and all over the country that are watching me and supporting me, man. I really appreciate it, guys. It's great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Originally from Japan, now makes his home in Texas, Yusuke Miyasaki. Yuski had 11.13 yesterday. Better day today. 16 pounds, 11 ounces. With 38 or 28 pounds, 8 ounces, he sits in 34th place. Want to remind our marshals, we got a meeting coming up right after away, and then we're down to our final 11 anglers and. Uh, you're sitting in 34th place. No, yeah. Uh, yesterday, you know, one mistake was really cost me a lot this tournament, but I really enjoyed, you know, uh, today. So hopefully next one is a good tournament. We look forward to seeing you down the road at our next event. Let's keep them rolling through. A nine-time classic qualifier from Brookville, Indiana, Dollar Bill Lowen. <laughs> Eight pounds even yesterday, but a better day today. He's 20 pounds, seven ounces, getting the cut, 18.4, but makes up some valuable angler of the year points with 26 pounds and four ounces just outside the cut, but some angler of the year points in his back pocket after a great rally here on day number two. Great rally, and uh, and as you know, by the end of the season, that may be one of your most valuable days of the year. You know, that was my goal today, was try to get them points back. You know, for those of you that weren't here yesterday, I caught me eight pounds, so I had to figure out how to catch something today. So I went back to the camper last night and got my Bassmaster magazine out and started reading so I could remember how to catch one. And uh, I lost a giant today, probably a nine-pounder off the bed that would have done it for sure. But you know what? That's fishing. Um, got some valuable points. I'd like to thank everyone here for coming out. The fans are what it's all about. And uh, if you're going to come here tomorrow, come over to the Yamaha booth. We'll talk about that SHO motor and talk about my express boat. Look forward to seeing you there tomorrow, part of Angler Alley from Kentucky. His first event in the Bassmaster Elite Series. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen, for Mike Huff. Mike Huff, a former Carhartt College Bass competitor, at 12 pounds, 9 ounces yesterday, 5 fish here today. 15-15 gives him 28 pounds, 8 ounces, and with 9 anglers left to go, he moves into 35th place. Twenty-eight pounds, eight ounces, and inside the cut right now. But we got to see what these next nine guys have to say about that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be there. Uh, I mean, I got a big bite today. I just could not get another another good bite. I caught a lot of fish, had a lot of fun, but uh, looking forward to Lanier. Looking forward to seeing you there, and great to have you on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Our next angler from Mississippi, get loud for Brock Mosley. 
Brock Mosley started the day with 16 pounds even, five to add to that. 11 pounds, 13 ounces, and just short of the cut with 27, 13. Gives you 37 pounds, or 37th place right now. And, you know, I just hate, I hate these spawning tournaments. You know, I, this is my second trip here, and I have yet to weigh in a female. I have weighed nothing but males. And uh, I just, that's what's keeping me from being, in, in, you know, inside the cut, you know. You know, 28 pounds in two days of nothing but males. But, you know, I just, I had what I had today at 12 o'clock, and I thought, you know, I'm going to run into a big one. But, uh, you know, it just never worked out. But that's part of it. You know, it's it's a decent start on the year, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to turn around next week and make up some more ground. I know you will. We'll see you at Lake Lanier. Our next angler, a two-time Bassmaster winner from San Jose, California. Time to get Zal Dangerous for Chris Zaldane. Chris Aldane had a big day. Yes, he's 17 pounds, 8 ounces, 4 fish to add to that here today. 11-3 puts you in 34th place with 28 pounds, 11 ounces, and uh, it's going to be close. I doubt it'll hold, it'll hold. I only caught 4 fish today, and the pattern I was on, I was punching the, the heaviest cover I could find, and man, I lost two big ones today, and I've got the best rods, the best line, the best sharpest trocar hooks, but... When you, when you flip into those mats and you pin them to the top of that mat, they get leverage on you and they pull off. So that's going to hurt me. But I just have to say thanks, everyone, for coming out. And, you know, there's a lot of new faces, a lot of new names here. There's a lot of uh, older names I'm used to fishing here. But, you know, a lot of the names left, but the talent stayed here. There's no doubt. I mean, I'm seeing 22, 23, 24-pound bags. These kids could catch them. They're hungry. And I think you guys are in for a treat this year. It's the Bassmaster Elite Series, and it's always tough. All the way from Australia, the Walla Beast, Carl Jacobson. At seven pounds, five ounces yesterday. Two fish to add to that here today for one. Unfortunately, going to call an end to your event here this week, but uh, Lake Lanier probably sets up a bit better for your style of fishing. Actually, yeah, when everyone uh, asks me what's my favorite, you know, like on the schedule, it's Lake Lanier. Had a good event there last year. It's got huge spotted bass. you got to get out of Florida, not in a hole, but that's what I've done. And, uh, you know, i just got to come back at Lanier, have a good finish, get the, get the year back on track, and I feel I can do it there. Um, thanks for all the support. It's heartbreaking having an uh, event like that to start off with, but that's fishing. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. you got to take the good with the bad. It's all about the effort, and uh, I'll be putting 110% in all year. So. Hopefully we catch him. I know you will. We'll see you at Lake Lanier. Let's bring out a Bassmaster Classic champion from North Carolina, the Fritz Blitz, David Fritz. Did not get a chance to see him yesterday, but he caught one here today, and that one weighs one pound even. Are you ready for this? Get your cameras ready. Boom shakalaka, t -t 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 tiny bass. The, the let, me, let me tell you something. There's a lot of people out there watching that can relate to this. <laughs> that's two days worth of fishing. So uh, uh, that ain't what I've had on in two days, but that's what I brought in. Hey, it's the thrill of victory and the agony of angling. It is a humbling sport. Well, it is, and, and I sort of got lost. I was catching them real good, and, and I had four different little places I could really, I thought I was going to do real good, and, you know, sometimes you think you're going to do good, and you don't, and then sometimes you don't think you're going to do good, and you do, so that was sort of the case. We look forward to seeing you at Lake Lanier. I know you'll get them there. A nine-time classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida. Get loud for Bernie Schultz. Bernie Schultz at 17 pounds, 7 ounces yesterday. Five to add to it here today. 16 pounds, 6 ounces with 33, 13. He moves into 23rd, and Bernie gets to stick around for another day on the St. John's River. Get loud, Bernie Schultz, ladies and gentlemen. Been living with that big bite, and it's got you in a great spot. Uh, but the rumor is the weather's going to change a little bit. Is that going to hurt you or help you, Bernie? 
I don't know until I get out there. I mean, my days evolve as it goes along. I mean, I, I don't have a, a big plan. I, I had a really kind of, you know, questionable practice, and I'm getting a bite here and there, and it kind of adds up. But um, I don't know. It would be interesting to see. Some of these guys, I'm sure it's going to impact them some positively, and a lot of guys probably not so good. So we'll see. I know you'll figure them out. You always seem to do it. Let's keep them rolling. Just a few anglers left to go from Oklahoma. Luke Palmer. His first event on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Luke Palmer, had 11 pounds, 2 ounces yesterday. A better day today. Going to break somebody's heart. 20 pounds, 8 ounces. He moves into 27th place with 31 pounds and 10 ounces. Thirty-one pounds and ten ounces, and you're sitting in twenty-seventh place. And uh, we have three anglers left to go, so you don't got to worry. You're going tomorrow. I was kind of nervous about that this morning, the way things are going, but I still lost a few fish. That's going to cost me, but you know that's that's how it goes. You can't catch them all. But and I want to thank Horizon for helping me out, Phoenix Boats, World Lawn, CNC Hardware. They they let me do it, so that's what I need. Awesome to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. From Holt, Michigan, former Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open Champion, Chad Pipkins. Had 10-15 yesterday, 5 to add to it here today. Needs 18-8 to get in the cut. 13-3, a little short. Going to give him 24 pounds and 2 ounces. And Chad Pipkins falls a little short of the cut, but uh, gains yourself some Angler of the Year points. And... Uh, you know, if you can avoid the real bad one, uh, you're going to still be in contention, and you did that. Exactly. You know, it's funny you're thinking about that after the first tournament, but that's that's the reality. Every every fish counts out there, and uh, it was just a tough uh, tough day yesterday for me. Today was a lot of fun, caught a lot of fish, and had a good time, and just didn't get around any big ones. But uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Thanks for having us, and uh, we'll guys maybe see you guys around the uh, expo tomorrow. Come say hi. Tomorrow, Angler Alley starts at 1 o'clock, so make sure to swing by. A new Elite Series pro. He formerly won a Bass Pro Shots Bassmaster Open and qualified for the Elites the last two years from Arkansas, Harvey Horn. Nine pounds, five ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Seven one, gonna give him 16 pounds, six ounces. He's got one to hold up high. Oh my word, ladies and gentlemen. Big bass, big stage. Really big dreams. <laughs> that was my first five fish limit fish in the Bassmaster Elite Series. Something to be pretty proud of. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Harvey, you worked hard to get here and made it two years in a row, and uh, we're sure happy you took us up on the invitation this year. You know I am, too. It's a great experience being here in Palatka, these great people that y'all have down here. The, the fish that I caught the last two days do not represent what this place is actually capable of producing. We've seen some of these great bass that have been weighing in. Y'all have an awesome fishery. That little fella right there, the next time I come down here, I want to catch him when he weighs 10 pounds. I took that, uh, took that Yamaha Powered Express and we ran all over this river. It's absolutely beautiful. I tried my best to, to uh, get up there in the shallow water like I normally fish. And if it wasn't for the great products that Minco to Hummingbird make, I would have been in a bad shape in this tournament. And I did stay in the boat all day today. Congratulations. It's your baby steps. Baby steps. We, we look forward to seeing Harvey Horn all season long. Our next angler, a former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. 13 pounds and 8 ounces yesterday. He's looking for 15, 15 to get in the cut. 8, 12, 22 pounds, 4 ounces. And uh, got to catch him day after day in the Elite Series. It doesn't, one thing does not change. If you're going to hold that trophy on this stage, you can't ever take your foot off the pedal. You know, I, didn't, I ain't been around him all week. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you get on, sometimes you don't. And I tried every way I could to adjust today. I knew I was going to have to catch a big bag to to move up there, and it just didn't happen. That's part of fishing, and we'll go to Lanier and catch them next time. 
I look forward to seeing you there. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day two way, and we're down to 35 anglers in this tournament for the first time ever. A Canadian holds the lead on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Chris Johnson, your tournament leader with 47 pounds even. Right behind him, Lee Livesey. Right behind him, Mark Menendez, Brandon Cobb, Rick Clun, Corey Johnson. John Cruz, Greg De Palma, Robbie Latuso, and Matt Airy round out our top 10. 35 anglers will go out in the water tomorrow. Make sure to get down here and cheer them on as they do battle, leaving the dock at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Marshals, stick with us. we got a meeting coming right up, so get a seat in front of the stage, and we'll start the Marshall meeting in just a few minutes. On behalf of the entire Bassmaster staff, myself, Dave Mercer, our tournament director, Trip Weldon, Eric Lobe, as our event director, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here today. Truly, the unsung heroes, the reason our sport is what it is, is because of the amazing Bassmaster fans all around the world. And on behalf of us, thank you.